Hello, this is the first project in our 12 weeks of Christmas projects. This is our stocking die. Um, and then inside is my business card, but you can place a gift card holder on the inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create this stocking gift card holder. You're going to start with our new stocking die. This is in the holiday mini catalog. I already went ahead and cut this out um, so you can see all the different shapes. You got your stocking, the top, and then your heel and toe pieces. What you're going to do is you're going to cut out two of these. And I went ahead and did that and we're going to do it in the red. So I went ahead and cut them out in the red. I actually cut six out in red and six out in the very vanilla. That way you got your tops and your heels to switch between the two. I'm getting ready for a craft sale, so I thought these would be very cool um, for the craft show, little gift card holders. Then what I did was I took one of, of the two stockings and I put it in the Petals of Plenty Impressions folder and ran that through the Big Shot to give it that nice texture on there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one plain one and one textured one and you're going to stick those together. Well, first, before you do that, you want to take your word window punch and I would come down probably a quarter of an inch from the top and probably about a quarter of an inch from the side. Are you zooming in on this? And you're going to punch. And you're not going to take your punch out, you're going to slide it over and you're going to punch again. And if you have a gift card or a business card, you want to slip that down in there just to make sure that you have it wide enough here at the top. Then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to put adhesive, not at the top, just along the side. And you can either, I probably, because of video I'm using the snail, but um, you might want to use the red line because then you're sure that your stocking's not going to fall apart. Then you just want to match up the plane to your textured one. Like so. Okay, and now we're going to just apply our heels. Like that, and then the toe. Let's see. We are almost done. Now we have to make our little topper. So, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by four, and you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to put it on the topper part here, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't cut where it's the fold. So you want the fold to be just above the cut line here. And then you're going to run it through the big shot. And when it comes out, it's going to come out like this. So you can see it's just above the where it's going to cut. So we keep that fold. Then what I did was I punched a scallop circle, a red one and three eighths inch circle, and then this is from um, our cardstock here. Look at all these that you can punch out with a one and a quarter inch punch. This is our berry bouquet paper. It's uh, DSP. It's from the mini catalog. So you have tons of these you can use. And I'm just going to go ahead and assemble all those together. Stick that all together. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a little red line tape on the back side of your stocking and you're going to run two rows of that. Or at least I ran two rows because I want to make sure that it stays together good. 
and then take that off. And then what you're going to do is slip that down in there like that, right up to the fold. Fold it down so it's nice and sealed in there. Then you're going to take your piece here, and you're only going to put an adhesive on half of it. And the half of the ad adhesive is going to go right there. And then on the bottom half, you're going to take a little piece of Velcro. And that's going to get stuck there like that. And you're going to fold that down. And there you go. A super quick and easy gift card holder. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you Saturday with another project.